for a man that literally has every accolade one could imagine. From 494 wins, three national championships, he got another one to the list today. The court here at Walter Sillers Coliseum was named after the man, the myth, the legend, Lloyd Clark, in front of his old team players and lady statesmen after a big win over Lee University. Welcome to all of you today for a very special occasion. Welcome to the campus of Delta State University. This is a significant day when we officially named the court here at Sillers Coliseum in honor of a former Delta State University head women's basketball coach and a Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame member, Lloyd Clark. Drop it down. Drop it down, coach. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, officially, Lloyd Clark Court at Walter Sillers Coliseum. I don't think many coaches have this honor throughout the whole nation. I know there's some, but, but you know it's a great honor, and I've loved Delta State. I, I went to school here, graduated, my wife, my two sons. Uh, to have my name on the court forever is, is a wonderful thing. Coach Clark, I tell you, he is a great person, a great coach, and we absolutely loved him. We, we didn't think it at the time. We, uh, we got yelled at a lot. Uh, we ran a lot. Um, we did a lot of things that we probably didn't appreciate at the time, but in the end, he was always there and he always had our back. It was great. Um, of course, it was always a lot of fun, but mo what I remember most is probably just the intensity throughout the season and how it built up from the beginning of the season to the end. So, you know, you always had a wonderful fan base here in Cleveland. The fans were already always excited and waiting for us to come in the gym and play, but probably the most the most memorable thing was probably the intensity that was surrounded around the preparation for game time. I always squat down to talk to the girls. One time I had my pants split. <laughs> One of my players had to slip up. They were trying to draw a straw to see who was going to tell me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I squat down and I look and I see my mother-in-law sitting up there. And sometimes it kind of inhibited me or expressing myself to what I would tell the girl. <laughs> but sometimes I'd slip and she never said a word about it. So she's a great lady and I just want to remember her. One thing that Coach Clark always wanted us to do, he wanted us to do our best. You know, when people talk about Coach Clark, they ask me what's one thing that you remember about Coach Clark and I would say, you know, Coach Clark made us the best that we would be. Not like the best player. You know, but he made us the best person that we could be because you're going to work hard, you're going to be dedicated, and you're going to be consistent or either learn all those things in the process of getting to where you want to be. So, you know, just the consistency, the hard work, the dedication, and just the commitment. He just was there for us, and he, he asked about us on the court as well as off the court. He was uh, very personable. He cared about us individually, and he still does to this day. He still talks to us now. I asked um, several girls today when we were uh, sitting around visiting how one word that you would use to describe Coach Clark. I can't share them all, <laughs> but I'll share a few. <laughs> um, he was tough, he was intense, he was very demanding, but he was also supportive and he was very fair. And then after the degrees came, he was loving and kind <laughs> and compassionate and he was happy. It is, it is a great honor for me, and, and I'm glad that we've gotten along as well through the years, and, uh, and I hope to see him many more times. Part of the story program that we have here at Delta State, and um, just on behalf of all of the teammates and, and all the former Lady States, I mean, you know, we're just very thankful that you did that, Coach Clark. <clears throat> times were tough for us, some of us more so than others. Um, but. I do enjoy that, and uh, it's sitting right there in front of the bench. You know, the name, one side of it is right in front of the bench that I sat on so many years. Uh, it, it's, it's a great honor, I, you know, and I feel very good about it. I get kind of chills every time I see it. <laughs> great honor, and, uh, and I, I just appreciate the fact that, uh, that, that they did this for me. And, uh, you, you know, you're talking about more than one person. There were several people that were involved in this. With Ronnie Myers uh, turning it over to the naming committee, them naming it, naming it and, and then the cabinet uh, uh, approving it. And, uh, and, and I feel very honored.